Capitaine Pepino. Uh, that's the red player. All right. So this is a 600 ELO, newer player. I haven't actually gone through replays from this ELO before, so it's going to be a little bit different here. We're going to be seeing Arena, though, and uh, let's see how it goes. So we want to keep a very close call, uh, close eye on this idle TC, because that's where a lot of newer players lack. Like, um, See, we want to always keep it running. We have the res to make stuff, but, uh, you know, we're... We're kind of scouting probably a little bit too much here. Making sure to putting your town center, or make sure to put your town center in a control group, or like use the, the hotkey, select all town centers is gonna be probably the best one that you wanna um, that you wanna use here. So, you can figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, um, the, what was I saying? The, at this elo, like you really need to be keeping the idle t the TC running always, especially in the early game. Like being down one bill is huge at this stage. Luckily, the opponent also having a little bit of issues with the, the idle TC, but uh, you know if you fix that, that's instantly 200 elo, just like 100%. So that's a pretty easy fix. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to execute, but it's like kind of uh, you don't have to think too much about it. You just have to just have to do. Tick solo. Hello. Um, is select all TC plus Qville's better than go to next TC? Yeah, yeah. Well, select all. You're going to be selecting all the TCs that you have. If you only have one TC, it just selects the one TC. And then it also doesn't uh, center your camera on the town center. So, so the select all commands, they they just select them. They don't center the camera. Or go to, obviously, like goes to them and centers the camera. So if you're trying to like do anything and you don't want to look at your town center, you, you probably want to use select all. It's way better. Deer push at 600 is epic. Yeah, well, he's trying. Um, it's I know it's a lot to to think about, but let's see. Like the problem with deer pushing at this level is that you're idling the TC, so you obviously just really don't want to idle. Like, watch, we might idle here because we're pushing the deer. Oh no. Okay, good. You're paying attention there. Oh, almost took the cow accidentally. But there's a lot of multitasking involved until you get this all muscle memory. Like this will all become muscle memory. I don't have to think about like this dark age pushing the deer and stuff, but uh, it does take some practice. So when we're placing resource production or resource drop-off points, we want to place it as close to the resource as possible. Uh, except for on like golds and stones, you you put one tile. But for the mill, putting it like right in that hole would have been perfect. What about long distance to the deer? Yeah, I mean at this level, it's it's fine to do. On arena though, there's not really much else to do. So honestly, like you should probably practice doing it anyways. And arena is the best place to do that. Arena is the best uh, map to actually get good at like just kind of playing the game the basics because your opponent can't attack you early you don't have to worry you just you just play your own game basically uh so yeah basically two seconds worth of or two vills worth of idle time villagers take 25 seconds to make uh but it's not the biggest deal like really anything on this level is not going to be the, defi the defining uh, reason why you lose but uh, yeah we know how to lure the boar that's good how about the opponent opponent's gonna be luring the boar pretty pretty nicely here very good very good oh oh she's stuck she got stuck there for a little while but yeah skipping loom because you don't really need it as long as you make sure to pay attention to the luring bill you don't need, need loom until well way later a lot of players will get loom even in imperial age on arena so yeah looking pretty decent um Still idling the TC quite a bit, though. Like, you idled again for 20 seconds or something while luring the, the boar. So, just getting into the habit of just selecting your TC. Just basically, like, every every time that you're not actively doing something, you just select your TC Q bills. Even if you don't have the res for it. It's just, it becomes automatic automatic after a while. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, we can speed through a little bit here. Uh, yeah, like this lumber camp, instead of being here, it should have been here because there's going to be a lot more surface area for you, you to collect like this. It's going to chop out really quickly and then they're going to be really inefficient. So you really want to get it with the most resource around it as possible for the wood camp, camp especially. Um, you'll see that this one's going to be really inefficient. The first camp was good, but this one is not very good. It's just the efficiency, uh, you really have to pay attention to this stuff. And then the mining camp, like as I was saying, for the gold, you want it one tile away. So, like on this side would have been the best. Because um, it takes a while to, to chop out, and then the villagers get kind of stuck. 
um, if you place it right up against it. And yeah, looks like we should still be able to go up here, maybe? Uh, I mean, obviously, since we idle a lot, the, the actual timings themselves are kind of not really the same uh, as if you had zero idle TC, but uh, yeah, you'll be able to get up here. You're going to have to sell, sell some wood, probably, 200 wood. There you go. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, you go up. Nice. We were just, we needed to have two on gold instead of just one and uh, probably go to gold a little bit later. But I mean, the build order itself doesn't really matter that much at this level. It's just the, the main thing that matters is doing do, the things that you do need to be efficient, or at least you can work on that. Um, so like, you know, don't send bills over here and then send them up here and like send them all over the place. Keep the, the TC running. The actual units that you make, the exact build order, not that important. Um, yeah, for a while. So yeah, horse collar coming in. We definitely want to get double bit axe. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, that one's caffeine actually. Just, just make like herbal tea or something. Chamomile or whatever. Yeah. Uh, do we have herbal tea? Yeah. Any of the, uh, the ones in the bags. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. So yeah, double bit coming in. That efficiency on the wood is good here. And yeah, I mean, so far, so good. This isn't really 600 level, though. Um, our red player, he's just a newer player, and he got placed around here. Um, but he's trying to improve, so he will be much higher than 600 with, with a bit of practice, just understanding how to play act the game. Um so, yeah, we're going up much faster. We're going to have the castle. Uh, not quite enough on stone. As you can see, you just, you're not quite there. Getting stone mining upgrade, you usually skip that one because a lot of the time you you gain an, or you gain or mine enough stone to get the first castle, and then you kind of go off stone. You can go for another castle, but eh, it's, it's like those resources. Instead of getting stone mining upgrade, you could use that for bow saw, the wood upgrade. The wood upgrades are way more important because in this game, you use wood to make farms and you need food to make bills. So, yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, uh, you probably want to skip that. And also archer armor. It's like we don't really need that because we're not even making units yet. So your plan is to go Janissaries, but there's no reason to get archer armor at this stage you might as well save the wood for something more useful like uh well bow saw or the save the food for bow saw gold mining upgrade is useful actually you, you really just forgot to go to gold oh you're gonna go to gold now i guess these bills are gonna build a a uh, castle i wonder are you gonna go for it i mean look like looking at what the opponent has at this level you can just place it right on his face it, you don't need to place it defensively at all um like, your opponent has nothing. He's super late to, to Castle Age. So, you'll be able to get through up until maybe even, like, 1k elo with pretty much what you know here. Um, yeah, because it's, like, you're, you're so far ahead here in terms of, uh, like, technology. Um, yeah. Yeah, the opponent made some a pretty good-looking base. I like it, actually. Uh, not efficient, but <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, heavy plow coming in. Yeah. It's fine. You're gonna have to reseed a lot of these farms because they didn't have horse collar, so it's fine to get. Actually, honestly, just, you can get all the ecotechs at this state, at this level, and it probably won't hurt you that much. It'll mainly just help you, so it's fine. So, yeah. Uh, what we need to do is, yeah, you just kind of forgot to send to gold. That's, that's the main, oh, and we're going to more stone, so, I mean, mining camp is 100 wood. That hundred wood could be invested into something else, like more farms, and you're gonna need to uh, you're gonna need to reseed these farms soon. So, uh, yeah, okay, we're we're on gold now. That's good. Let's make the jannies. So instead of getting armor for no units, we should just make janissaries. If you had like you could easily have like three janissaries. You just go forward. You just shoot his walls. You get in, and then you win. Um, so that's one concept that you have to really remember is don't get military upgrades for units that you don't have you should make military units first and then get the upgrades after most of the time most of the time you have no idea when to switch to military i mean if you're gonna make a castle you should be making constant military like as soon as the castle's up you just keep making janissaries you keep sending them forward your opponent's in feudal age even in castle age there's barely any units that can actually stop this so he has a donjon here you just don't attack here you just attack somewhere else um and then you're you're fine you just get the, the jannies forward. We got to keep the production. This is where it gets a little tricky, though, because you got to keep the TC running, and you got to keep the the castle running, and then, you know, if you want to make a monk, you got to make a monk. 
Um, your main issue with this game was actually not having enough on gold. So having only the one guy on gold was not giving you enough to actually make the Janissaries here. So that, that was a big issue. Um, so yeah, just got to make sure to have a little bit more. Like we're going to add a TC. It's not super necessary. You can definitely just win games in Castle Age. All you have to do is just make constant military. See, we only made one guy, but if you just made... Even if you don't even make villagers from this point, you just make constant Janissaries, you just win the game because you just go across the map and you kill everything. But uh, yeah, one Janissary, definitely not going to be enough here. And that, that's kind of the like the main the main issue here. We're going to boom. Um, from this point, it's like, yeah, there will be things to point out, but uh, the opening is the most important thing. So let's let's see gonna start taking relics you actually scouted everything so that's good you know where all of it um all the relics are so that's good and yeah see of course we're gonna attack right into the donjon but you know he, he knew he wanted to place it there but yeah you just attack somewhere else you can shoot the walls he has monks now though but i mean Janny's kind of insane 17 attack you just shoot them twice and the monk dies like that <laughs> so yeah oh Good light cav positioning, except for that your starting cav has stand ground. Um, so you got to change it to aggressive stance. But looks like you're going to catch him. Oh, still stand ground. Oh, oh no. So you got to switch that guy to aggressive stance. Um, yeah, they spawn him with stand ground in this game to start. It's kind of weird, but that's just how it is. Uh, okay, so I mean the Siege Workshop, but what are we going to make? Rams? You could make Rams. Could make Mangonels too, but couple of rams could be good get in but i mean as i said you can just shoot the wall with the guns and the, the wall will die they do so much damage okay but your main issue here and the main issue of most players up until they're like 1600 is floating wood even higher so wood float you want to spend this resource specifically and all the rest of the resources should fall into place based on the buildings that you build so um, what that means is getting a third TC, getting a, even a fourth TC sometimes, making more farms, making a mining camp here maybe, or you'd probably get a TC around this, making more production facilities depending on the, the stage of the game. Uh, but the main thing that you would spend it on here would be uh, probably like two more TCs and a bunch of farms. And you want to spend it all. And at this point, you just go to imp. So if you are kind of floating almost a thousand food here, and you have enough for another castle. You have map control with the units. You can go for a forward castle and go Imperial Age. You can make trebuchets. You can make uh, bombard cannons. So it looks like you're going to go for that forward castle. And when you're making the castle, you, of course, don't want the villagers to die. Otherwise, the castle doesn't go up. Ooh, that's a pretty forward castle. I like it. You bring the military. So all the military comes. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's good. That's exactly how you want to do it. You want to support the villagers with the military. What is this DC? <laughs> That's a crazy TC. All right. Uh, anyways. It's all downhill from here. What? Yeah, your opponent does have uh, more villagers. Because he made so many more town centers. But the key here is going to Imperial Age. Like, you you over all of your TCs. You have, like, max Q here. So if you just cancel all these, and then go Imperial Age. So when you're going for a forward castle, this is a little bit of a strategy advice. And this is applicable to pretty much all, all ELOs. If you're going for a forward castle, and it's not early castle age, you should probably be going imperial age behind that so you can make trebuchets. This castle supports the trebuchets. You kill actually everything that's like to this point. Because the trebuchet will range all of this. So, whereas the castle here on its own doesn't really do anything. It's a very beautiful looking base. Yeah, blue, blue set it up. Set up the farms pretty nicely. Um, and so we're going to make mangonels, but mm, mangonels... Not necessarily the greatest for Turks here. Um, like, just going Rams and Jannies would be perfect. And, you know, you can put the Spears in the Rams, and it makes the Rams move faster and do a bit more damage. So, actually, putting the Spears in the Rams, it's pretty good. Keeps the Spears safe as well. And he's going to go for a castle here, but uh, no problem. And another Barracks. You are keeping the TCs running, but that's because you, like, super over -cued. So, if you're going to go for this second TC, you should definitely add a third or even a fourth TC as well. Um, just because you have the 
the food just sitting in the in these TCs doing nothing, whereas they could be sitting in another queue in another TC making even more bills. Um, so as this is a real time strategy game, you need to do things in real time, and uh, time is fire. time is the most important resource here. Uh, hey, Jolnar Binks. Uh, so yeah, you can't really take a castle in in Castle Age. Wow, he's going first Crusade. Okay, so this this ability it's kind of weird, but it spawns thirty five units. It's kind of insane. It's kind of like not even balanced, but uh, well, it is kind of because you generally. Like, higher level people can stop it, but uh, that's just so much military that he got for free. And he's getting elite as well. Oof, those are going to be hard to deal with. But, Janissaries are still pretty okay here. The Skirmishers are actually, well, of course he doesn't have any upgrades, but Skirmishers are an okay counter to the Janissary. Uh, but these, honestly, these Sergeants shouldn't really do too much. But, let's see how it goes. The main thing is, is just not letting your... Janissaries just tank damage. Oh, you're going. Ooh, you're gonna get yourself trapped here. Ah, so I think you didn't know what the cru first crusade did. Um, and well, you still have time to get out if you just run away, though. Like the the key is not taking battles that you're gonna lose. Um, so if he has all these guys, you want to go under your castle, right? So the castle is gonna do huge damage. You don't want to fight over here. You just want to move your guys over here, make him fight under the castle, right? So. If we fight here, then we definitely lose everything. But if we just... You can even garrison your Janissaries inside the castle. It's not a bad play. Um, and they will fire more arrows. They'll make the arrows... Or they'll make the castle fire more arrows. Um, so, you know, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Like, it was pretty bad, but you're still ahead in economy. So, I mean, all you have to do is just make some more Janissaries. Uh, and, yeah, with Turks, a lot, of the, a lot of the things is just make more Janissaries. Opponent... Has enough resources to spam sergeants for a while, but you also have enough resources to make Janissaries, but we're not doing that, so that's definitely uh, a bit of an issue here, is the unit production, and you can set the rally point of this inside the castle so that they spawn and they stay in the castle instead of going out. It re really helps a lot. So instead of having them go out, you just click the castle, right-click the castle, and then they, they stay inside. Uh, oh yeah, and these things can build stuff too. There we go. So you're going to be up. You're going to be able to make a trebuchet to to kill this, which is good. But we definitely don't need any barracks. Because barracks is going to be where you build um, spearmen if he's going for knights. But he's going for sergeants. So uh, just staying on, staying on Janissaries is good. Another thing that you can do with Turks is go for cavalry archers. But they require quite a bit of micro. So they're, they're kind of hard to use. And so Fletching, Bodkin Arrow, Bracer, those things all affect the castle as well. So you want to go for those range upgrades, range and damage upgrades from the Blacksmith. Um, and that helps. And Ballistics as well from the University so that they will hit moving targets. So pretty useful. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, is that he did use this, this tech that Sicilians get that just gives them 35 units for free. No other Civ can really do it like that, so... Um, yeah, you definitely got a, a little bit caught out here. Thanks. Um, but yeah, just retreating to the castle. It makes a little sound when he spawns the units. So it gives you a little bit of advanced warning that it's coming. But, uh, yeah, you gotta be really careful about these things. They're really tanky. This, this unit is like how men at arms should be. But, uh, it's not. So Elite Janny coming in. Okay, very nice. Now, you're only on one castle. You have enough for another castle. And there it is. Okay, good. The thing is, is that if you place it too for far forward, like a higher level player would be making siege units here. And, well, actually, no, he has siege units. Where are they? Oh, they're just chilling back here. Uh, I mean, if he was like 200 elo higher, he would have all of his trebs here and kill that. So a little bit, uh, little bit forward. Like when you're being pushed back like this, you definitely could opt to go for the castle a little further back. Um, it, when you're trying to make the, um, the unique unit. The Janissaries. Uh, we're making Sanctity. Mm, maybe a misclick. I don't know. But uh, well, we're making a ton of monks. Holy moly. We just need to make Janissaries. Like, really. make. Usually making one unit is better than trying to do too many things. Because then you get confused. And, uh, yeah, the monks. Oh, yeah. Also, another thing. this The tech that he got, First Crusade, to spawn these units. It actually gives them conversion resistance as well. 
So they they do counter monks. Um, it's kind of weird. But yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, you make the castle forward, and then it kind of is just going to die. So if you're trying to make your unique unit, this applies in a lot of situations as well. Make the castles a little bit further back, and don't go too crazy with them. Uh, opponent is definitely just going and circling everything. And it's actually crazy that his score is so high, too, because, like, I mean, we have a better bill count. We have no military, though. I guess he has, like, 71 units. He's just making units from here. So, yeah, we definitely need to keep all the jannies together. Oh, we only have two guys. Where did they go? I guess they really ran out. So, we should have a mass of, like, 40 janissaries here. And then we could be making Bombard Cannons. This Civ gets free chemistry, Turks, so you can make Bombard Cannons instantly. You definitely don't want to be making Rams against melee units, because melee units will kill them. But Bombard Cannons, they can kill the Trebuchets from a range, and then they can kill the Donjons. So at this point, we just don't have any military, and we're kind of not really making anymore. So the only way to stop this is to make military, and if we don't make military, we will just slowly die. And that is what is going to happen here. So yeah, at this point... Pretty much the big the big fight here was where it started to get out of control. But from that point, you could even just stop villager production just to try and make uh, full Janissaries. But you got to focus on the unit production. That's really the the main thing. What so, are the units? Blue guy, the blue guys unit? Yeah, they're the sergeant, the elite sergeant. They can build stuff. No, th there's a arrow on the monastery. Or flag. No, 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 not, not the flag. There's like one of the sergeants had like. A, a I don't know. Oh, oh, it's because a monk was converting him. But anyways, oh. um, you had the right units, but gotta keep them, keep them a little safer, and just make more units as well. Like, look, the economy is pretty much the same, even though you were getting attacked. Uh, so yeah, actually, very, very similar graph here. Um, but just gotta keep the units alive and make more units that's that's the main issue here and even 17 apm already so you know you are definitely going faster than your opponent even without knowing really what you're doing uh so i would expect pretty rapid improvement for a little while so yeah there we go um yeah in, in a week's time you'll be 1k easy easy uh yeah i mean that's we pretty much went over the main po points here it's kind of weird against sicilians because they do get all this free army if he wasn't sicilians he he would probably not have enough to actually fight you and so yeah ggs GG, captain. we Next have time just make 200 bills like survivalist <laughs> and you'll be 2k in no time well you know that didn't end up working nice coaching thank you pete <laughs> No problemo. Uh, 